Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be replacing the hard drive in an early 2011 17-inch MacBook Pro. We've already transferred our data to the new drive, gathered our materials, shut down the MacBook Pro, and have placed it on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro and flip it over. On the bottom are 10 Phillips screws. The three in the upper right are longer than the others, so remove those first. You can now remove the remaining seven screws, which are all the same size. When lifting the cover off, there'll be some snaps holding it in, so you may have to gently pull a bit to free them. The hard drive is located here. First though, we need to disconnect the battery connector. Use a nylon pry tool to gently lift the connector free from the logic board. Once it's detached, we can safely remove the hard drive. To detach the hard drive, we'll need to remove the retainer bar, which is held in place by these two screws. Once you've removed the retainer bar, lift up on the plastic tab to pull the hard drive out of the bay. Then, gently detach the SATA connector. On the hard drive, there are four Torx T6 mounting pins which we'll need to remove. Once that's done, gently peel off the plastic tab. You can now set the hard drive aside and prep the new one. You can install either a standard 2.5-inch hard drive or a 2.5-inch solid-state drive in the drive bay. For this installation, we're installing an OWC Mercury Extreme Pro SSD. Hold the new drive face up with the SATA connector facing away from you, then rotate it clockwise 90 degrees. Attach the plastic tab on this edge by pressing it firmly against the drive. There should be enough residual adhesive to allow it to stick. Next. Attach the four Torx T6 mounting pins to these four holes. The drive is now ready to install. Line up the SATA connector on the drive with the MacBook Pro's cable and gently slide the two together. Then, slide the two pins closest to you into the grommets on the MacBook and angle the new drive so it lays flush in the bay. Finally, replace the retaining bar and tighten the two screws. You may now reattach the battery and put the bottom cover into place. Push down in these two spots to secure the two snaps. Reinsert the bottom screws starting with the longer three in the upper right corner then the remaining seven screws. You may now flip your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on. 